All right, Lana, what do you think? You got anything else? Uh, Hit me. To talk about? Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, I'm going to talk about him on Thursday, but we can talk mm -hmm. about we haven't talked about him. No, let's talk about it. Um, what the fuck is that? Uh, Benjamin Owen Owen Benjamin. What the fuck is that dude's name? Um, you want me to look it up real quick while you have something to say? I mean, what is yeah, I'll name? look it up. I'll do it. Um, it was. You're talking about your guy, right? I'm talking. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, I don't even know what we're talking about. That were we cl in closing? Are we in closing? Or we are, are we whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you said you have anything. I'm like, are we closing? Because I don't know. I can no, close. Listen, we're <laughs> we're like 7 Eleven. We're we're 7 Elevens are up there, right? You have 7 Elevens. You know, I have a yes. I okay. Have something tomorrow i'm gonna be on some podcast I no oh, you don't even know i don't remember the shabaka's experience i don't i don't all right well I'll, promote yourself phone in something yeah no no i, I don't i don't know what this is. you're don't, all over the place I'm gonna be there now but, benjamin owens i don't know who that is i know benjamin buttons what, what who's benjamin did, owens did you look him up no Oh. I thought you were talking about something else. No, no. Stephen Holden is a politician that we're going to interview. Yeah. Benjamin Owen is uh -huh. a conservative comedian who did a video and in the video supposed to be satire or comedy. Hmm. Oh no. I think he was being interviewed. Hmm. See, I, I need to get all my facts. So whatever the case is, he's been interviewed and he was asked about the abortion problem. And he was saying, well, you know, he knows how to fix abortion. He oh. fixed abortion because, you know, the black woman getting abortions. Hey, why are you getting abortions? I'll just buy your baby and put him to work on my property. Was was that as an attempt at, at a joke? It didn't sound like a joke. And because he went on to call the babies, um, oh, fuck, what did he call them? I wrote it down. Something about this is like a something about basketball sperm. I don't know. And none of it was funny, right? Because he's like, well, what would you do? Would you rather baby be dead or be a slave? This wow. So That's so funny. <laughs> well, again, the these people now are um they feel free saying this. And you know what? Say whatever the fuck you want. You know, and that's the thing that they don't understand. You could say whatever the fuck you want. You cancel whatever. That's up to the advertisers. That's up to anybody that wants to associate with you. And I would well, imagine that if you had any a good can he no one knows who the fuck yeah and that's exactly what it is so what do you do when you nobody knows who the fuck you are is you try to say something controversial yeah. maybe to get somebody to say but probably not the the greatest way to get attention but but these who these people are now they say whatever they want to they know they can say it on podcasts because podcasts have zero regulation you know for the most part right. and a lot of these podcasts don't even have advertisers so you know anybody can come on our you know and say whatever they want to and there are no ramifications unless maybe somebody at their job saw it and said you're not working here anymore but that's yeah. what that's what the society is now is that um, people now think that this is funny. They think it's cool. And they think it's not only funny and cool. They think this is their way of fighting back against something that we're not really fighting you on. Because it's not even like he was fighting against abortion. He was being raped. Right. Th that's exactly what it is. So he it's basically about the white babies. He didn't say anything about white taking white women's babies. Hey, hey. Don't have an abortion, white ladies. I'll buy your baby. Like, that's not what he said. So he said, enslave the black babies. Yeah, let me there. Let me bring up abortion because that's a hot topic. But I'm going to do my little twist on abortion and really get some attention from it. And again, it's 
Inventory. Man, if that's how you want to live life and you think that that's the way to go about it, backtrack it. Yeah. God bless you. I'm sure you're a God fearing man too. You're probably one of those. Yeah. So God bless you. He um, did try to backtrack it and say, well, not slaves, employ. <laughs> yeah, hilarious. I mean, well, have you heard any of these um, like right wing uh, comedians? Tell the stupid jokes. I heard one They're thing about so Pelosi's painful. Oh. Pelosi's husband. How about too soon? Too soon? Uh, like it is so painful. I was watching this one thing. I wish I had the clips. I guess Ben Shapiro has some new movie that he produced. Oh, no way. And it was um, <laughs> written by one of these MAGA comedians. And it has something to do with transgender stuff. I don't, I don't fucking know. It has some transgender men playing sports. And uh, they were even, I, I saw a clip. I wish I had it, but they were talking to Ben Shapiro about it. And um, he was like, well, we were going to do a documentary, but it turns out that they don't actually let real men play women's sports. So he's basically admitting that still, it's not even really a problem or an issue. Um, but um, But they did this whole hilarious movie uh, apparently about it and it's a comedy and it was from one of these maggie maga um comedians and they were showing clips of this guy on stage and literally nobody nobody was laughing at anything he was saying it was painful <laughs> to watch pain well i'd say painful but it was just so bad that i can't stand these people that i i <coughs> I love watching their uncomfortability. Right. Just go on and fail and ball. Yep. A hundred percent. Yeah. They're going to be in blackface soon. I'm well, you. you know, and that's their way too, saying, well, that's, they, they want to get the attention saying, here they come. They're coming after me. They're going to cancel me. And the first yeah. one, nobody gives a fuck about you. Nobody knows the fuck you are, but let's say somebody does quote unquote cancel you. It's because you're an asshole and you're not funny. That's maybe really why. It's not because you're too edgy for us. <laughs> right. 